Have you ever heard of Ozempic face? A lot of celebrities have been getting Ozempic face. And I mean, we know what this looks like, right? We we know what they're doing, okay? We know exactly what they're doing. And listen, a few years ago, I lost a lot of weight. And while it wasn't dramatic as what people experience on Ozempic, I only lost 60 pounds, I definitely had sagging skin issues. My jowls started drooping. Here's a picture. What? Let me show you what I looked like before. Okay, that was me before. I lost 60 pounds, right? Cheeks looked deflated. My eyelids were sagging down. There's another picture. Let's just say they weren't doing me any favors. And I would look in the mirror and be like, okay, I'm healthier, but I look older. <laughs> so if you're dealing with similar issues, if you've taken Ozempic, you've had rapid weight loss, or if you're just aging, I am here to help with that saggy deflated skin right? That loss of elasticity. It's not and should never be your permanent reality. I don't look like that anymore. I've never had a facelift. I've only done what I'm doing now and what I'm sharing with you. So I figured out how to bounce back from that and I'm going to share with you in this video everything that I did to increase my elasticity, increase my collagen, and tighten that saggy skin. So let's get into it. Now what happens when you rapidly lose weight. Your skin loses volume faster than it can contract. So think of it like a balloon and then you blow that balloon up, right? You make it bigger and then you take the air out. And what happens? That balloon has stretched, right? So that's kind of what happens to your skin. So when you gain weight, you stretch your skin out. But when you lose weight, especially if you lose weight rapidly, like on Ozempic or even on a really strict diet and exercise plan, your skin relies on a structure of proteins called collagen and elastin for their strength and elasticity. So after 30, remember that starts to decline. So this video is all about how you can collagen bank, gain more elastin, gain more collagen, and really help bring your skin back to that more youthful, vibrant look. What's your first arsenal? Well, you cannot leave out any actives. That's your numero uno one. You've got to affect it externally. And so I'm gonna give you three actives that are going to be game changers in your skincare today. And the first active is vitamin C. Okay. I don't care what vitamin C you use. You can use a sap vitamin C like I use from the Soulceuticals. You can use a l acid like you know, SkinCeuticals vitamin C or even Timeless vitamin C. This is going to increase your collagen in your skin. Then the second thing I would say you have to have is a retinol, okay? A retinol or, or a tretinoin. And honestly, I say vitamin A, that's the gold standard. A lot of retinols are just too weak right? And especially if you're age, over the age of 40, either a retinaldehyde or a vitamin A, okay, or an adapalene. If you couldn't use those because they're too harsh, you could even go down to like a Bacuccio. And then the third thing, and it's in everything now, so you should be able to find it pretty easily, though I would say get a serum concentrate, and that is niacinamide, at least out of 5%. So 5% of that serum needs to be niacinamide. Niacinamide is going to reduce inflammation, it is going to tighten and tone your skin, and it's definitely going to increase your elasticity. Okay, so the those are your actives, right? We gotta have that vitamin C, we gotta have that retinol or retin-A, and we've gotta have that niacinamide. So the second thing that I need you to put in your to your skincare routine, and that are, those are peptides. There's about three different peptides you can choose from. You can choose all three. There are some things you'll need to note though if you do choose these peptides. So copper peptides, they promote collagen and elastin production and promote wound healing. So make sure that you get a really good copper peptide and I will put a few in the description box. That's number one. Second is Matrixyl. I don't leave home without my Matrixyl. It's been one thing that I've seen a huge change in my skin since I introduced it. It increases the collagen production of types one, three, and five, or and four, and exactly what's needed for structural support in your cheek area. And y'all, do you know how many times I get accused of having plastic surgery. I have zero plastic surgery. My cheeks look so much firmer 
and just more like structurally up there than they ever have before. And I have been using Matrixel for six years. Honestly, my face looks way more sculpted than it's ever looked before, but I have, I religiously put this stuff on my skin. This is super important. Okay, and the elastin and collagen production level that you achieve with Matrixel is going to help really make sure that your skin stays tight. And then EGF, and you guys know that I use a pretty low priced EGF. I use the Ordinaries, and honestly, it helps with skin, uh, skin regeneration. It helps with increased collagen and elasticity, and I would not leave home without this one either. So those are your peptides. That's number two. You know what the third one is? And this third one is consistency. It is non-negotiable. You cannot be inconsistent with your daily skincare routine and see any changes in your elasticity and collagen production. Non-negotiable. Consistency every single morning. And after that, also, you put on your sunscreen because we can't be acquiring sun damage on top of skin that's already damaged because when you deflate too quickly is almost like damaged skin. So we have to repair it from the outside and we have to repair it from the inside. So let's move on to some internal solutions. How can we increase the elasticity and collagen from within our bodies? The first one is supplementation, okay? Feeding your skin from within. There's actually a lot of evidence that proves so I probably like 15 years ago, I kept hearing this stuff like supplements are just junk. Supplements are not junk, okay? I don't know how many times I've heard doctors say you really need to be supplementing with this. You really need to be supplementing with this. Do some people take way too many supplements? Yes. Here's some supplements that I would take if I were you and I wanted to increase my collagen and elasticity. So the biggest question is, should I take a collagen supplement, okay? I don't know. I'm just going to tell you, I don't know. The science is out there. It does say that it helps, but there's also science that says it doesn't help all that much. Okay. So the verdict is still kind of out with collagen. I would say definitely though, from what we see supplement with collagen because hydrolyzed collagen will, you will see about a 10 to 15% increase in elasticity and collagen after about eight to 12 weeks. Okay, so it's not a huge change, but it's enough to make you wanna to try to incorporate that if it's easy into your daily routine. What's gonna give you more bang for your buck is actually hyaluronic acid. You really need to be taking that with vitamin C, E, copper and silica. Okay, so if you have a multivitamin that has all in there, I take AG1, it has all of my multivitamin needs, it has all of that stuff in there. And so just taking my HA with that in the morning covers me. And HA has shown to increase your skin elasticity and moisture retention up to about 15%. So the other thing you need to be taking is an omega-3 fatty acid. And it shows, research has shown that people who took this saw an increase of almost 40% hydration in their skin, so that's huge. And they also saw increases in elasticity and collagen and even some anti-inflammatory effects like the reduction of redness. So that was pretty big. And I take my omega-3, I take the krill oil omega-3 and I'll put all of these in the description box. And that contains astaxanthin. And astaxanthin up to six milligrams a day is actually 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C as an antioxidant. And skin texture and elasticity goes up with astaxanthin. And I have included it in my daily routine for a few years now. And I can definitely see a difference in my skin with that omega-3. You really need to be getting those omega-3 fatty acids, not just for your health and your brain health, but also for your skin. Then the other thing is resveratrol, and this actually stimulates fibroblasts and collagen synthesis in the skin, and it also helps support cellular repair while you're sleeping. So it's good to take it with, with late at night with your magnesium and your glycine. At least that's what I take. And then another supplement that's really good for you is lycopene. And believe it or not, lycopene may be the gold standard for skin elasticity. 67% of the people who took lycopene at 15 milligrams daily saw a reduction in their wrinkle depth, a reduction in their wrinkle size, 
So, and it was a statistically significant reduction. So I was like, y'all, I'm taking lycopene. <laughs> um, I was like, I gotta take lycopene when I saw that study because wow. So, whoo, what's the next thing we can do? So you've got your supplements taken. What is another thing that's external that will affect your skin? and the tightness of your skin. And that's exercise. And this is the foundation that no one talks about. So here's something that surprised me. Regular exercise actually is a powerful tool for skin improvement. Think of all of the growth hormones that are released, like resistance training releases a growth hormone called IGF-1. This is a crucial growth hormone for collagen synthesis. Cardio, right? Cardio actually delivers supplements and nutrients directly to all of your cells. When you do cardio, you release ATP, right? And that's kind of like the powerhouse of your cells. So cardio and resistance training are both super important for skin elasticity, skin hydration, um, tone and texture of your skin. Regular exercise also reduces cortisol and inflammatory, inflammatory markers that advance skin aging. So they, it helps clear out those advanced glycation endpoints that you collect through the day. So if your diet is not on point, exercise can help a little bit. You wanna really ideally have them both there because that's gonna give you all of the tools you need to keep your skin tighter. So that is your foundation. Now, this is what your day should look like, right? You should be doing your consistent skincare routine. You should be trying to get all of the vitamins and nutrients you can. You should be supplementing a little bit and exercising you know, three to five times a week. What are a couple of things that are going to accelerate your, your treatment? Chemical peels, and microneedling. And if you do this, if you, I'm telling you, I have a video on it, I'm gonna throw it up. It's it's basically cycling It's and it shows you how I calendar it. But basically I do a chemical peel, I start with a chemical peel and then two weeks later I do microneedling and then two weeks later I do another chemical peel and these are med spa level peels and med spa level microneedling. And I've got the videos, I'm gonna link them in the description box, but the chemical peels help remove the damaged tissue and trigger your skin's repair system. And then when my skin is primed and it's healing in that two weeks after that, I go in and I medically microneedle. And this actually stimulates collagen production pathways that help increase collagen production in my skin. And so this is going to reverse all of the damage that you did. And then of course, adding in that daily massages and lymphatic drainage to try to really tone and pull everything up right here. Um, and structurally, like really, really sculpt your face out. The changes, I mean, I people don't recognize me who've known me for years and I've never had surgery, never had surgery. Everything looks way better than even, right, even before I lost the weight. <laughs> so this protocol will make your skin look so much better. That is how you do it. I've given you the protocol. This will increase your elasticity. It will increase your collagen in your skin dramatically. And if you try this for just a few months, I guarantee you will lose most of that ozempic face, if not all of it. Um, of course, depending on your age. So if you're suffering from that, or if you know someone is suffering from that, share this video with them. Tell me what you think, like, subscribe, all of those things. I'm constantly here to try to help you. And I'll see you next time on Glopa Shelly.